So, anyhow, um, we're going to do a review, short review on products that we have added to our um, arsenal at the shop. And what it's going to be is this, as you can see, Black Widow HDE compliant spray gun, 10 times life. Uh, most reviews, you can find out how it sprays on YouTube. I'm not going to um, do all that you know unless you guys want to see the end results or something of something i spray we might do that like we just cut right to the point of if something's good or not for you guys to buy as far as the reviews go that's why what we're doing is and then we bought the universal paint system as well i think we're going to go back and get uh three more of these because they're only 14 bucks and you can't buy the um mixing cup with a uh, locking collar you can't buy it separate by Spectrum as far as I can find. So we're just gonna go buy three more of these kits. We got the refill system and uh, we will be painting the El Camino first. That's why we bought the whole system is to do the paint job. Next we'll be buying the paint booth and all that to get it done in the next couple weeks. Um, and uh, so obviously we're still rebuilding the truck too. Uh, so, that's it, and we're doing our reviews as follows, just in case you guys are curious. We are doing a short review of what we're adding to our arsenal, uh, maybe showing like how it works, if it's quick enough to do, but um, in a year's time, we will do a follow-up review on everything that you see or have seen, and we will be doing that review based on durability, how it's worked out over the year, We'll be giving our honest opinion on the product. So um, we're gonna give it a good like push as far as using these things. And because most people buy a $230 spray gun, they expect this to last at least four to six years, maybe even 10 years. They're not buying it for that price to get six months, eight months, a year out of it, and then it's broke. So what we're gonna do is in a year, we're gonna say this gun seems like it'll hold up for another four years or whatever. You know, obviously not meaning someone who, well, this one being professional, it should be in everyday use for a good amount of time. As long as you take care of your equipment. This thing should last for, till the paint wears off in my opinion, uh, or something breaks and you should be, Another good thing if you're buying a good product is you should be able to buy replacement parts for the interior, the needles, the, the knobs. You should be able to find this stuff. If you can't, you know, call Spectrum and say, hey, I need a 1.3 tip or I need a this or that, my gun broke, then you're fighting the inevitable in that, you know, so we're gonna look into it. I mean, everything says the spray's good. We're gonna use it on a few jobs. I'm sure we'll get our money back out of it. And most people, if it broke, they'd probably just go buy another one. 230 bucks versus 600 for a SADA, yeah. Um, let me tell you, when we pulled it out, we already unboxed it, kind of looked into it. Um, of course, I always let excitement get to me, but um, kind of set it up, but it feels good. It feels lightweight. And let me tell I've used tell you guys I've used some really, really cheap guns. Like I bought a call bolt from the Lowe's for 70, 60, 80 bucks for two guns and a bunch of stuff. And it did not feel this way. It did not have the smooth operations like this. It was you could tell it was cheap. Now it didn't spray bad for spraying wrought iron fence and things like that, because that's what I was using the call bolt for. And the other gun I picked up from Cobalt is basically I use it, it's cheap, but I use it as a primer gun. I don't use it for spraying base coat. Um, but we picked this up, it's lightweight, small, fits better than the Cobalt. So with my experience of using cheap guns to spray wrought iron and just stuff you don't really need a fancy gun for, out of the cheaper guns that I've bought, I don't consider this to be cheap, but it is cheap for a spray gun and it is built well for the price. Um, the fuel is right for, you know, the money you spend, uh, you know, so really awesome. All right, guys, that's it.
All right, have a good afternoon. Peace and prosperity, all that good stuff, like we always say, and bye.